Yeah, you know, frustrating night. You know, you, you really saw the youthfulness in a lot of places tonight. Uh, not excuses, kind of. You can see they were a more physical football team. You know, we've done a good job of becoming more physical. They're more physical. That's probably the first time you saw the youthfulness in our front. You know, really struggled with some of the calls and blocking those guys up front. Um, you know, and now, you know, you know, Dalton had these kind of grace period last week. Nobody really knew what to expect. Um, you know, as a team that was probably more, more physical than now, you see you go get to a, a team, you know, um, like San Diego State and Coach Long's team, it, it's a whole different beast, you know. So we struggle throwing the ball. I mean, you know, when we become that one-dimensional, you're not just going to line up and pound a team like San Diego State. You know, they're, they're a much more physical team than that. Um, so we struggled, struggled on first downs and then just, you know, really never got in a rhythm throwing the football. The biggest glaring thing that was very obvious tonight, we just struggled in the quarterback department. You know, and it is what it is. I mean, and we got to get better at that. You know, he's a redshirt freshman. You know, you can't put that on him. It's just, it's youthfulness. It's inexperience. I mean, he went from, you know, playing his first college game last week to playing against a team that was ranked number 19. And a good football team, you know. And uh, and he struggled with some of the looks. You saw him make a lot of checks early in the game. They messed with him pretty good. You know, Coach Long did a really good job of moving up to the line, getting him to check out of things. So we took all of his audibles away in the second half. And we were able to move the ball a little bit better in the second half because he kept getting into different things because he's getting youth and experience. We had some open receivers and we, we missed them. And I mean, there were some reads you saw out there. It was like, oh my goodness, just, he's just making the wrong reads. And got a little Lancey back there, but again, it, you know, it, it's just him, you know, you know, being young and he'll figure it out. So it's just experience to solve that? Yeah, I mean, if anybody's ever stood back there in a Division One football game and seen guys with their ears down coming, it, it's, it's a different thing, you know? I mean, it's not like, you know, catching a fly ball, you know? Um, he'll, he'll get it and he'll be fine, you know? And again, you know, it's, you know, it, it, it's a young group out there and, and it showed tonight. I mean, they played hard. Both sides of the ball played extremely hard. But, you know, bottom line is we got beat by a better football team. They're a better football team. They showed it and, and really, really all three phases. Again, defensively, I thought we had a really good game plan, did a really good job of giving ourselves a shot, but really we never got in any rhythm at all offensively. Their defense was flat out just better than our offense in the show. How frustrating was tonight? Extremely. Extremely. I mean, obviously offense didn't score any points, and that hurts. That hurts. Um, you know, I'm, I kind of lost for words for it. I've never been on the offense side of the ball and not been able to put one point on the board. So, I mean, we got to take a step back, look at the film, look at ourselves, and uh, learn from it, obviously. But not, not dwell on it, you know, learn from it best we can, correct it, and go into next week.